No, I'm getting married. You are? Who's the lucky lady? I don't know yet. What do you mean? I'm getting an arranged marriage. Well, assisted marriage. That's what we're calling it these days. Dare I ask, what about love? You grow to love the person you're with. What, like Stockholm Syndrome? <laughs> she, at the start of the film, just really doesn't understand why he would, as this young, handsome dude living in London, want to have an assisted marriage. And it's a beautiful journey where she really expands her understanding of what that means and what it is. Hi, everyone. It's Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. Thank you for joining us. It's great to have your company. We're going to be talking about the rom-com film, What's Love Got To Do With It? comes out in the UK very shortly. It's written by Jemima Khan. Yes, that Jemima Khan, who was married to Imran Khan. And it's directed by Shekhar Kapoor. Yes, yeah, Shekhar Kapoor, who did Elizabeth. So let's find out more. Bye. Bye. Ah, salam, Auntie Aisha. <laughs> what? She still can't say it. Assalamu alaikum, Aisha. There you go. Oh, that's exactly what I just said. I'm with the brilliant Lily James and the brilliant Shazad Latif, the main characters in What's Love Got To Do With It? Welcome to AsianCultureVulture.com, Lily and Shazad. Uh, how are you? Very We're well. really great. Thank Very you. Well. Happy to be so, here. So tell us a little bit about your characters and how difficult or easy was it to play somebody like Kaz and Zoe? Kaz. Kaz is a is a very dutiful uh, Muslim son who, who who's a doctor. Um, he's he's asked his parents to help him as, assist him in in choosing choosing a wife. Um, he lives next door to Zoe, his childhood friend. Um, who decides to make a documentary and follow him around as, um, as she's very interested and curious in why he would want to do that. And she has her own reasons for that. Mm. And Lily, Zoe, how, how yeah. did you find? Well, Zoe is a really um, ambitious, sort of quite fearsome young woman and she's really <coughs> passionate about her job. She's dating and failing at finding someone that she wants to spend her life with, but it's not really her main focus. She focused on her work and um, and there's a lot of pressure that begins to sort of fall on her shoulders as she feels like time is narrowing down and she's this discussion of like when and if she wants to have children and, and her mother's putting a lot of pressure on her and in a way trying to assist her in a marriage too. <laughs> but she lives next to Kaz and they're great friends and she at the start of the film just really doesn't understand why he would as this young handsome dude living in London want to have an assisted marriage and it's a beautiful journey where she really expands her understanding of what that means and what it is and comes the sort of realization that there is no right way and you know that Absolutely. yeah and the chemistry between you two is fantastic so how does that is that something you just click into or do you did you hang out for a bit or how did that work well we've been friends for a long time right we, we hanged out for like we hung out we, hung we out. hung out for like 13 years actually. Years, yeah. <laughs> so we had a good good foundation already yeah. and then we'd had two months of rehearsal and then so yeah it just sort of fed into what we were yeah and it's a very kind of natural, you're both very natural in the roles. It seems like, you know, it's really good acting or you're not acting at all. It's <laughs> something, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, very There's the mystery. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I mean, no, I suppose it was just more, yeah, it was coming to work and then playing with each other and just finding, finding stuff that Shaker wanted or, or Jemima wanted and what we felt was right and yeah. trying to play the truth. Sure, and what was the most <coughs> difficult thing about playing these roles? Um, I think for me, I had to constantly have this camera. Suddenly I was behind the lens, you know, behind the camera trying to film. So I, as a documentary filmmaker, I wanted that to be believable. I didn't want it to seem just like this sort of fake accessory. So I had a lot of help from some of the crew members who I've worked with over the years. And um, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You haven't done any of the, that before, you know, you didn't. No, know. I mean, I've always loved taking pictures and stuff, but they used some of the footage I got in oh. the film. So oh, wow. mm -hmm. they had, I had a very great subject. <laughs> <laughs> and how how close are you to Shadar? What kind of uh, you know his, in terms of his upbringing and yours? Is that uh, well, I'm actually mixed race, and he's a, he's a, he's that's, that's not what the case in the film. <laughs> um, uh, he's brought up way more religiously than me. He's a doctor. Um, there were many yeah many differences to uh, he's more dutiful than I am definitely <laughs> as a son. Um, he has two parents. Uh, there's many differences. Yeah. Why did you want to do this film? I mean, I can see why Jemima wanted to write it and make it, but you two as actors, what was, was kind of, uh, what was the appeal of it? 
I mean, it's a beautiful, well-written rom-com. Jemima did an amazing job, but there is more to it. You know, there's a big exploration of identity and family, and I really like representing a modern, multicultural Britain, which you don't often see in these kind of big mainstream rom-coms. It felt really <coughs> unique in that way and important. Mm. And just, well, and the chance to work with Shaker Kapoor, yeah. mm. chance to work with Jemima, chance to work with your best friend. There's three yeah. really good yeah, reasons. Yeah, we worked together before. We mm. weirdly did a we job did. before, but we only had a couple of scenes together. Right. Me, three or four did scenes. Did the Pursuit of Love just right. before, and then we went straight wow. into this. and Very different. <laughs> yeah. Such a, yeah. such a gift. Such a gift. <laughs> and in terms of your, your journey, uh, how um, difficult or easy was it to get into acting? Because I obviously interview a lot of actors and stuff and sometimes <coughs> the parental pressure to you know not to get a, be a doctor be a lawyer and so for you what what was that journey like um in, a, in like the quickest way i could tell you um, <laughs> yeah yeah, in a quick um, way, yeah. Uh, well my dad my dad pretended that he was wanting me to go to uni generally like vaguely was like you've got to go to uni you've got to get education but really he worked in a, as a film role changer in the cinemas in the 70s so he loved movies very anglicized anyway so when I told him I was doing it, and you actually when he saw my first paycheck, he was like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That changes a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. If you can keep doing that, then yeah. that's okay. Yeah. And my mum's uh, a huge movie fan anyway, so she was just loving it. Um, yeah, it was tough to get in. I tried, I mean, the way for me was just to try and, my drama teacher helped me get a little young actor's agent mm -hmm. when I was like 18. Auditioned for drama schools, thought that might be the only way I could get an agent mm -hmm. or whatever. Got very lucky. My sixth form teacher told me not to do it because she was like, you won't get in. So I was like, so I ignored her. That's a great teacher. <laughs> and then, uh, and oh. then tried, yeah, that's yeah. it. And what's your favourite line or favourite part of the film? I love the idea of um, um, walking into love rather than falling in love. You know, this kind of like obsession with it's going to be love at first sight, it's going to be this. Well, really, I like this idea of like prag pragmatism versus passion and compatibility versus chemistry and just like and not even verses, just looking at that we need all those things. And mm. there's great lines, better to simmer first, then boil. Mm -hmm. and there's the dogging line that it's I put in. <laughs> and any vices I should know about? Drinking, smoking, dogging. No dogs, no pets. No, no, dogging means something, D don't worry. Yeah, that is, I mean, that gets everybody, I think. That's right. a, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good one. Um, not written, yeah. yeah and that was improv, yeah, 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 it was really yeah. funny. Um, yeah. I mean, with those two on set, was it very... Well, we didn't, sp I mean, that was one day we spent with yeah, us, right? Yeah, we didn't have or enough two time. Or two days, one day, one, yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. How, how important is it to have a film like this with a multi-faith, multi-race kind of relationship at the heart of it? I think it's very important. Beautiful. I think it reflects, mm. it reflects London, it reflects Britain. Mm. It, it, things, you know, we should be seeing that on screen mm. all the time, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what would you say to somebody who's not sure about watching it, well, how would you convince them that this? Go and watch it, or I'll be your. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, go and watch it. You know, yeah, why wouldn't yeah. you? Why wouldn't you? It's yeah. so uplifting. It's, it's warm joyous. in the cinemas. You know, it's, it's cold warm. outside. It's baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got you two in it. I mean, yeah. what more? What yeah, more does on, anyone? Come Who's on. Seen Lily Jones? What are you doing? It's just sad. <laughs> That's no, fantastic. Um, what's your kind of l abiding memory of making this film? Going to set every day with no fear and complete joy the idea that I might an excitement that I'm gonna get to just mess around with my mate yeah it's like that's that's a very rare experience very rare. I felt, I've never felt more relaxed than at ease because you're there with your friend and we got to play table tennis every step so it was a kind of very chilled set you know yeah, yeah. It, was, yeah. it was Jemima was there every day she's just incredible I just look up to her so much she's amazing in every way and good we catering had, Good, great catering. Lots of good curry. Oh, I think yeah. that's important. Yeah. Yeah. And Shaker leading us like with such sort of love and cheekiness. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was a be beautiful. Kind of more rom-coms yeah, yeah. would you two like to be mm, paired together? Not right. Yeah. No, I, mean, well, yeah. I mean, we could do something very different. We, need yeah. to, we could definitely be paired we're together. Doing a road, we're going to do a road movie. Well, it's great, it's great energy you have and yeah. Thank you. Thank Brilliant. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Now the party starts. I used to think that I was scared of being with the wrong person, but now I realize that I'm scared of being with the right person.